In this video lecture, we will see how to use the PHP Excel library to create a table. So the input will be generated and data has to be populated in a table. So that is our main task. So as you can see, I have opened the project. It has several folders like of Laravel. So the basic understanding of Laravel is required to uh, understand this project. So now in the app folder, I have the HTTP. Inside that HTTP, there is a home controller and operation controller. First, before uh, seeing this, I will just note it down. So now in the app folder is there. I will just note down the name of the folders. After the app folder, bootstrap folder is there. Then the overall configuration. Then the database, dummy database. Then packages. Excel DB. Or it is powers there. Then uh, public, then the resources, then the routes, then storage, and then test. You see, this contains the basic application code, application binding, service container, service. Container and all the basic components of a web application. That is the app. Then uh, uh, the bootstrap. It takes care of bootstrapping all the packages and their dependencies which are of use when the system starts up and um, when the system starts up and the cache management across applications application starts this was about bootstrap now configuration universal application configuration type for email then uh, uh, redis cache then uh, uh, eloquent, then PHP Excel, uh, everything like that. Configuration. Database folder contains migrations. Uh, then it contains uh, factories. Then it contains feeders. Then the Excel package, Excel DB packages are the business logic. Here, here the business logic goes. This is a very important. Uh, this very important file. So the public file contains the index.html. That is the starting point. After that, resources contain views. Views contain the blade templates. So after that the roots the roots are defined the controller action for the http request storage for logs error messages etc 
then test test for uh, you can say uh, PHP unit or any testing etc so these are the packages that we have noted down so now let us see how the roots are there in the roots we are only interested in the roots we are only interested in web roots and for logging logging in reset password and uh, registering in and log out all these are managed entirely by Laravel service container using the command using the command php artisan make auth so this creates all the authentication routes so what you have to do is uh, you have to first run make auth in that after doing that in web.php a file in the routes folder routes folder we have to write just four lines of code so first line is all roots and the second line will be root then get then sorry if root it get log out then function is called with auth log out so, uh, these two lines in so these two lines are required plus you can name any root so if i am naming this suppose as log out so now whenever i need to access the root i just need to write this root of log out that's it if i write root of log out it will redirect to that uh, it will execute this thing this is log out so in web php you have to write this code and this php artisan make or this does everything for you from logging in set password registering log out all these are managed entirely by the laravel you don't have to yes so what laravel internally does is it creates classes like register controller login controller reset password controller which extends the main class and it uses several traits like uh, serializes, serializes models, uh, then uh, dispatches jobs, and all these uh, should queue, queueable, all these uh, traits it uses to uh, have lo uh, uh, lo login uh, uh, by Laravel. And it serves the purpose, so you don't need to have any of your own login. So, this was about uh, logging in. So, after logging in, I yeah I will check the roots. So in see, you can see inside there this is the roots. I will just move now. You can see, I will just maximize it. So I am copying this and I am oh sorry I am not copying. I am copying this. I am going to sublime text. Why is this, this is not getting copied or yield?
you see you can see uh, that this is the my root file so for data tables uh, the how to integrate data tables from where data tables everybody knows that is the com column based uh, uh, table creation with striped rows with actions with uh, uh, sortable with drag and drop and all these functions are supported by for tables uh, like uh, uh, show pagination also so all these are covered in yajra data tables uh, package yajra data we have to just uh, import that dependency and you can see that excel db factory is there that creates the ex an environment to uh, uh, hold excel db uh, instances so it creates an extent in uh, one instance of a excel db and it uh, provides the environment for the excel db to run so this class is very important excel db package excel db factory class which creates a environment and it spawns a new excel db object or singleton object singleton object meaning that no two instances of excel db will be running on the server uh, uh, for the same uh, uh, client so for the same client if uh, i have made two requests the second the first request it uh, uh, creates an uh, instantiates the instance of the excel db but after uh, uh, that excel db instance is removed then only the second instance is uh, spawned so this is called a singleton uh, uh, behavior so it has excel file writer and some exceptions so here you can see i have you see i have many rows i will not explain everything but yeah i will just go through some so here is the uh, you can say yeah this is the pages so pages contains a page uh, pin number so this is uh, all the pages with uh, have uh, pre prefixes pages it will be grouped and what happens what will happen will be if it will have a hs request it will check for that ajax if it is uh, the the model is there or not if it is there it will return data tables of model and it will convert it to json so now uh, that was about the roots so here you can see main is excel db factory is there so uh, suppose now i uh, wait a minute these operations in uh, no yeah this is the operations get, uh, root so what it does it is initializes the operations for the logged in user so uh, this get all tables with operations this function So this function what this is Excel DB. Uh, Excel DB is the main class. Uh, it has means is the main packet. So Excel DB has to be registered in the uh, yeah. So X, uh, X table list is uh, for that operations is get all ta uh, ta tables with operations. So every table has an operation. It may have more than one operation, so and it returns the view operation form. That view takes as uh, its parameters as title, its operations, and table is there is a list of all the tables for which the Excel has to be made, and it has middleware also, so it should be logged in. So uh, in config is not that important. Yeah, this pages. So now I have a um, suppose a, a bit bucket dot org slash pages. Slash page one. So here page one, page will contain the value page one, and it will take data tables, request and page. So what it will do is it will uh, uh, um, create, see if a model is there or not with that name. Suppose uh, I have a model. Uh, uh, you can see you see what I have a model name with that uh, uh, request. So suppose I have a page one. I have a page one user, so what what I will do is I will just uh, make a model of that, and if I I request uh, the Ajax, I request for the Ajax, and if the Ajax 
uh, 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 the uh, uh, response it, it returns teacher tables of model to JSON. So I have made a request. So in that request, if the request is of type Ajax, what will happen is uh, it will return the data tables of this model, the model which is uh, stringified and all the to, to JSON. So now HTML build again HTML builder is the main uh, part here because data tables require HTML builder. So it, it will build the uh, HTML fi uh, file from it. So for Excel, Excel DB factory will create the table and operation on the file. Header should be content type application. These content type should uh, should be remembering. This is a uh, and uh, request dot Excel. So the file which we uh, when we clicked on download, the Excel uh, variable stores the entire file, and the get real path stores its path on the client. So this file is sent to the Excel factory, and it will generate the response. It can throw some uh, 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 exceptions also, exceptions also like invalid columns exception, then uh, table not found exception or uh, any other exception. So if it doesn't throw any exception, it the, the response will be uh, the response will be uh, success, and uh, if it success will be one. Okay, but if it throws a uh, uh, this uh, uh, error, the success will be zero. That was about roots. As you can see, yeah, the middleware auth is written everywhere. So, uh, it, it, everyone, everything requires a login. We'll once again go through. So, we use the Yajra data tables. Everybody knows that data tables. Then, the Excel DB factory creates a single time instance of Excel DB class. And Excel DB editor is used to write Excel to the uh, uh, file. It has some exceptions that it can throw. So first is the operations. Operations requires the author auth middleware, so it requires login. So it will get all the tables with the operations. So it is used for instantiation of the tables. Then config is for config. Then pages. Suppose govno.c.com slash pages slash page one. So if that model is there, page one model is there, and if the request is Ajax, it will return data tables of the model. Uh, converted to JSON. So after that, it will the main line uh, data to convert the data tables to HTML. So uh, data tables has uh, HTML. So it makes an Ajax request to URL, and that is the current URL, and it, uh, it will uh, ha has the parameters like uh, it, it will have uh, parameters which will draw the table based on the Ajax request. And HTML builder. So if you see, uh, uh, the search row is there. First row will be the search row. So it has page table ID inside that T head. So inside that uh, search row, this dot API dot columns. Not every. So every column uh, you have to assign this to that column, uh, and in, it has to assign an input class form control and placeholder search. So input on key up change uh, column search will search for this value and will draw so it will draw that table and then uh, the td that type will be appended to the search row so now this builder has columns that, and it gets the data of columns and after that it uh, uh, gives it to the table page and array merge view config compact data table so uh, again we will revise it. The first step is the Yajra data tables. It everybody knows the data tables. So now Excel DB factory creates a singleton instance of a Excel DB uh, uh, object and Excel file writer writes the file. So first is the operation. So for all, all the operations get all the Excel tables. That is the uh, uh, use of this and it requires authentication. And this is the configuration basic. After that, in the pages, uh, if page one user is there, then if the request is Ajax both, then it returns the data tables 
of all the um, rows of the selected model and it converts it to the JSON. So now come to the how to build the data, data tables. So data tables has a main method that is get HTML builder. So what does that mean is it builds the HTML from the uh, 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 data tables. So this builder gets the Ajax request to the URL and gives the parameters like responsive true. Then after you need to complete what will, what will have to happen, we will have a search room. Then uh, for each uh, 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 col columns, uh, we, we will add a control button and a, and a place holder for search. And on, on uh, entering something in the search button, uh, it will append it to the search row. That uh, the matched elements will add to the search row. Then the HTML builder will uh, in, uh, list all the columns from the model, uh, and it will uh, merge the config with the data tables. So array merge will just merge that uh, configuration with the data table. Data table column uh, a list of all columns, and it builds builds the uh, table. So now for Excel operations uh, there are three types of operations insert update delete so you want uh, if yeah, it is in where operation is input or delete update or delete the first is the insert insert function uh, uh, yeah, in, yeah first it request parameter is present and it has an excel property which stores the file and it has a get real path which stores the file and it has header which co whose content type is application slash vnd that is of excel so excel db uh, factory is there now it has created a table with the operation of file so in all the operations that is insert insert so insert file so excel db factory has four three functions first is the insert second is the create third is the uh, some uh, delete and fourth is the uh, update so we will again revise Excel DB factory has four functions. First is the create, so it creates the table, and then the operation. So what operation is required for that uh, table uh, currently? So operation are three types. So other operation can be insert, it can be update, it can be delete. And after uh, you can say uh, the operation is completed, uh, uh, then there will be a response. So after uh, the response. Uh, if files it retains a file name. So if file name is not uh, is uh, if, if there is an error sheet, so it will notify it. So if file name is not uh, not equal to success, uh, it will be a failure. And if it is success, I will write this response uh, dot JSON of response. So I will convert that response into JSON and I will append that JSON to the response. So it, uh, three uh, uh, types of exception can be thrown. First is the invalid columns exception. So uh, the column num uh, uh, number passed in the builder don't match the column numbers into the data. So Excel table not found is table uh, is not found. And third is any other exception. So to write, so to, I want to write something into the file. I will just get open the file and the name and I will just download that file and delete the file after send. So this is for the uh, downloading the Excel sheet. So it will get, uh, get have a get request to the file and the name of the file. It will uh, in the closure in the callback function the name will be passed and the Excel file writer will um, in get file path and it will download this file response dot download file this is very important response dot download file and delete file after this that was about the groups now we move move to the uh, our code it is in package still so here is the source file as you can see here in excel db is a composer dot json composer dot log file so this is these files are required for dependency management. So now you can see the mail of, of uh, file here is 
एक्सेल डी बी यू कैन सी एक्सेल डी बी इन एक्सेल डी बी वॉट देव डन इज तो दिस इज अवर एक्सेल डी बी फाइल 